Hi, I'm Jeremy Sternhagen, Technical Marketing Manager at Planar Systems. Today, I'm going to walk you through our UltraRes app, which allows you to have full control of our UltraRes family of 4K displays. With my mobile device and my UltraRes display connected to the same network, my UltraRes app can send a variety of commands to the UltraRes panel. Along the bottom two rows of the app, I can select from a variety of different layouts. These layouts include dual, triple, quad, and picture-in-picture. Picture. As I make my selections, you can see the UltraRes display reacting and changing. You can also see the app being updated, so I can always see an up-to-date list of which inputs are being displayed on the UltraRes display. When using certain layouts, you may notice arrows that appear on the app to the left and right of the panel image. When they are present, that means I can cycle through multiple configurations. For example, in the triple view mode, I can rearrange the layout of the three inputs currently being viewed. There is also a presets button, which allows me to quickly recall up to 10 layouts I have previously saved. Here, you can see that preset two has been assigned as a dual view layout with HDMI one on the top half of the screen, while display port one is on the bottom. I also have the option of renaming my panel or editing the names of my inputs and hiding any inputs that are not being used. As an example, I will change the name of my HDMI 3 input to something more descriptive. In this case, I've got a computer running Windows, so I'll rename it Windows PC. Now, when I return to the main screen of the app, Windows PC will be displayed on the image of the panel in any layout that I choose. When I tap on any input on the image of the panel, I will be given a drop-down list, allowing me to select what input I want to be displayed in that zone. When I select the information icon at the top of the screen, the app will provide me with a list of useful information regarding my Planar UltraRes panel, such as the name I have selected for it, the IP address, serial number, and the firmware version of both the UltraRes panel and the UltraRes app. Thank you very much, and please contact us if you have any questions.